so much for a lazy weekend. Mm -hmm. This is everything we got up to this weekend. So if I was you, I'd press pause, go and get yourselves a cuppa, get that big quilt out, snuggle up under it, and enjoy this uh, because she's a long one. I'm pre-warning you, it's a long video, but I just wanted to get everything in that we done on this not so lazy weekend. Enjoy! Good morning! Hi everybody! Today is Friday the 3rd. Almost 9 o'clock today. I have to, well I don't have to do it. I am going to I have a graduate this year, 2024 grad. He is graduating a year early. He passed his exams and what he needed to do. He, um, he's my little worker, he's a good boy. Um, so he gets to graduate a year early this year. So I'm gonna nip into the, I'm saying nip in is an hour away. I'm gonna go to the um, soup shop today in the mall. And I know, okay, this sounds crazy because it's not like I'm controlling him, but I know what suit that would look really nice on him. I've explained it to him and he is like, one of those kids that's like, I don't really care. <laughs> the only thing he doesn't want to do is wear a dicky bow. So um, I'm going to go and check out and see what suits, if they have any suits, um, up in the mall. And if they do, I'll ask him to hold it and then he can go and try it on and make sure it is what he, he likes to. So that's the highlight. Because it's, it's a big thing here, graduation. I had a, my eldest son graduated last year. It was a bit low key because I didn't know what to expect. But it's a big thing here. So it's given me an insight now of what to prep for for this. My other, my other child um so yeah i'm gonna go and see that that's the highlight it's gonna be fun time i have um family member coming out so that he got more family <laughs> because um it's a big event here right anyway we got that i'm gonna go and check that out and then the downside then for me but enough for my eldest son is that he moves out this weekend he is spreading his wings he's got a house with his friends that they're moving into um so he's buzzing he, he's like ready to rock and roll but i'm trying to say to him he's not ready until next weekend and then next weekend he won't be ready to the weekend after anyway whatever it's, it's gonna come to the crunch i hear a lot of people with babies saying i've treasured this moment because it goes so quick literally i remember him being a baby in my arms like he was on one years of age sitting in the back of the car in his car seat tiny little toddler like a baby singing every single word to um dolly parton nine to five. <laughs> oh, he's, he was so cute but anyway, he is 19 years of age now and he's ready to explore and be independent. And yeah, I, I, I'm not ready for it, but I don't think any mother's ready for it. But yeah, so I just want to pick up little bits for him. I got him an air fryer because he lives by an air fryer. That's his cooking skills is putting things in an air fryer. Um, I bought him one of those and I just want to do a little basket together now so that he knows like what to buy and when he runs out of this he needs to replenish that so I'm just gonna get like body wash, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, shaving stuff, um, loves his barbecue sauce, so I'll put that in um, and just bits and pieces like that so that he knows when it expires or when he runs out actually that this is what I need to replace. So he works away. So he goes away that uh, like all week and then he's just got that for the weekend. But you know, he's ready for it. He's more than ready for it. I think he's been ready for it since he was about five years of age, if I'm honest. But yeah, so 
I'm trying to just be excited for him instead of being bothered that my firstborn baby is going to be out there on his own. <laughs> and he's moving an hour away. So, oh, anyway, um, what else? Um, obviously, I'm going to stop at Costco's because I'm up in that area. See what they got there. And, hmm. That's just, oh, and I need to go to Bath Bath, bed, no, not Bed Bath and Beyond. I need to go to Bath and Body Works. I'm all out of hand soap. Well, we're on the last one. <laughs> and I had to, we, we ran out. So I put a new one up and it's like a winter edition. <laughs> it's like Christmas ones. But that's fine. I mean, at least it's soap, right? So I just want to go and get some of those. What else? Soup shopping. Bath and Body Works, stop at Walmart to get a few bits and pieces for my eldest boy, stop at Costco's, fill up some fuel and straight back home. Back to my scruffy clothes. <laughs> back to my scruffy clothes and I absolutely have no clue what we're doing on the weekend. Last weekend we worked hard in the backyard but this weekend, I just feel like I don't want to do that. Andrew wants to go out on the bikes and um, go off and do something. But I kind of, I, I don't know. I'm feeling at the moment, you know, when you're just hard to please. Yeah, that's where I am this week. Like, I, oh, I just don't know what I want to do. But then I hate not doing anything. And then Sunday comes around and I'm like, we've done nothing all weekend and bear, what a waste of a weekend. So anyway, we're going to plan something. I don't know. Like we're not going to plan something. We're just going to go with the flow and see where it takes us. So no clue at all. But I know I don't want to do any more tree cutting or gardening or anything like that. And um, so we'll, we'll just see, see what happens. Anyway, let's head there. Cause I'll ramble in here for ages. So we're going to head there. Otherwise I'll never go. And then I'll get out to the car right here in front of my house and be like, yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> do you ever feel like that? I don't. Split seconds. And I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's get going and let's go and find a suit. First of all, first just things first, he graduates next month. Cause we're in May now. So it's June. So I need to get this like, under wraps like I need to get him a suit I'm gonna look the the plan is for him so his prom date she's got um like I believe like a sky blue dress so if I get him a sky blue tie to match her dress because that's that would be nice and then a navy suit with a white shirt that's kind of a his alley so let's go and have a look Oh my god, I totally found his suit. I love it. I hope he loves it as much as me, but I don't think he's going to because he's got a check in it. But look how. Like, this is so nice. Look at the check. With the light tie. Yeah, love it. Let's hope he does. But oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? The trousers come free. But I love this one. I 100% know he's not going to wear that. But he probably wants something like this. But I do love that. Right, let's try and convince him. Huh? Okay, I just literally walked through the door. And Andrew's not here to help and load, but I did have a send it as a day of school that helped me bring it all in. So um I went to Walmart um as I said just to get um, my eldest boy a few things. So I went to Walmart and I went to Costco's. I did go in the suit shop as I showed you the suit, so I'm praying that my son likes that suit because I think it's really lovely. And he should just wear it anyway because he's never going to wear a suit again. 
So this is the little um, haul I have. This is my goodies from Walmart and then use my goodies from Costco's. So I'll show you quickly what I got so that we can get it all wrapped up, put it all away. And it's a Friday, Feed Yourself Friday. So because I do work with the children Feed Yourself Friday, they have to feed themselves. But being the good mother that I am, are you ready for this now? Ta -da! <laughs> yeah. Big huge pizza. $12.99. Like why wouldn't I why would I buy a slice when I can buy the whole thing for $12.99? Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got like this. I'm not holding it because at this moment you don't stand. I know my pants free. <laughs> so in the Walmart, you can buy squash. Um this is like a pound, I believe, back at home. Three dollars and twenty-nine cents. So I stock up when I can. And uh, this sounds awful. They only had three left. I took the three. Because now, and I'm doing a little box here for Spencer. Because, <laughs> and I keep two. Um, anyway, so I got some squash. It's fine full of that. And then that's all I got for this house. The rest is for my boy. So, uh, like I say, I'm going to do a little box and things like I bought some shower gels. So, he hasn't got to worry about that. So, he's obviously never lived alone, right? So, he's moving out. So, I wanted to just give him the, the basics of living on your own kind of thing. And then when it runs out, then he'll know what to replace. Does that make sense? Because... Now you just say things like we're out to so and so so and so and then we have a like a pantry area thing that we call the shop and I buy like a like a bulk sort of buy so that when something's on offer I put it in the shop and then they shop the shop in my house. Ugh. Anyway, I want him to just have a starter pack. Yeah, that makes sense. Have a starter pack. And then when he runs out, he'll know what to replace. That's a good idea. That's how to explain it. So I got him shit body wash there. That's just the Nivea for men, I don't know. Buy two and save, so I'm gonna save. He loves sweet corn. So he loves pasta and sweet corn. So I started him with that. I went to get a pan, like a saucepan. They were $30 plus eBay and all that. So got him some. Sweet corn, peaches and cream. Nom nom. Anyway, then I thought, okay, just a glass for water or a beer. <laughs> anyway, I got him two of those. They were like a dollar seventy-seven. And I like the little. Can you see the little ridge on him? Cute. Anyway, he's not gonna think it's cute. He's just gonna take what he can. And then I started him off with some Tide pods. Uh, there's 42 in this pack. So this and a bit of comfort to keep his clothes smelling. Nice. So I got him that. Then I got him a shampoo. This one's for me. Then I got him this tree diffuser just because it was in Cleveland. So hopefully he's going to put this in his nightstand and keep his bedroom freezer, yuzu and grapefruit. So hopefully you can put that in this nightstand. It's no maintenance to this. Sometimes flipping the sticks up and down, but that's about it. So you should be able to maintain that. He loves white chocolate. Mommy got him milky bars. And then I got him these bath towels. I swear down, I say to him, got any washing downstairs? Like, this is where I struggle to wonder how he's gonna manage. Because I'll say to him, do you have any washing downstairs? No. He comes up with 15 towels the other day. 15. So, I just got him two black towels. And you know what? Like I said to my husband, if he don't wash them, then he's got nothing. That's that. Then I seen this cute little lamp. 34.95 down to $7. Seven schmucks. So, you can put that on his nighttime stand. He's taking his furniture from downstairs. Oh, it's just a little flick inside. Um, he's taking all his bedroom furniture. 
he's got a lovely bedroom furniture combo thing so that would look really nice on there you can have that like I, I don't think he's even gonna let me go up and decorate his room I don't think he's gonna let me do that but like look at that <laughs> I can't imagine for the life of me he's gonna give a shit on all of this but I do I like to know that he got a nice bedroom I mean, I'd love to go up there. I, I could have got up there today, let myself in, put all this out, you know? No, I just stopped myself. See, I haven't got girls. I just got boys. But if I had a girl, I suppose she would have said, ma'am, could you go up and like, put pretties? No, not me, please. And of course, da -da -da, this is what you'd be thankful for. A big old drama toilet roll. And I think I showed you. I got it, just one second. There, I don't know if I showed you last time and I bought it, but I got him an air fryer because this air fryer is like fries, clay. That's all you got a price. <laughs> he likes to put his stuff in here. Yeah. But this was $89.99 instead of $99.99. So anyway, that's for Spencer. That's his little going away present. Adios amigos, and um, I'm just saying, I'm all talk. I'll be crying when he leaves, but anyway, he's ready to fly the nest, so it is what it is. Right, let's move on quick to Costco's, and let me show you quick what I had in Costco's. So, I've been making these DIY refreshers, and um, you know, like you go to Starbucks and have a refresher? Well, I mean, I'm doing these ones DIYs, and it's this lemonade, I just got a cute one today because I've seen it and it was on sale. I picked this up, but the other day, like I got it in the fridge now. I have that and the cran raspberry. You put some of this in a glass with ice, top it up with the cran raspberry, and that is like a refresher. But you can get that. So I had that. Picked up another, I've been enjoying it. it. It's been a first quencher, so I'm happy over that. Okay, I'm going to start with this one because I don't want to be on my counter. But tell me these. <laughs> tell me these are the cutest little gardening shoes. I'm going to come up with those because look at. Isn't they precious? They're um, joy bees. But I mean, come on. Look at those for outside. I wear my Crocs and I ruin them all the time. These are took twenty dollars, like nineteen ninety nine. But come on, look at them, darling. Look at them. Oh, I tell you what. I get long before my time, but I love, I love them. I think they're so cute. I'm gonna show you on in a bit and show you them. So I picked those up because I see them for my garden, and I was like, yeah, I've got shoes. Picked this up, body wash, Kirkland's brand. Um, 9.97, I believe this was. So I had that. This is another thing for Spencer's goodie. These are the cereal bars they like. Pop out here. Um, and I had them for the house because we had just restocked the last of that. I got some chicken breasts and some boneless chicken thighs. So uh, I'm gonna do a teriyaki sauce for the thighs. It'd be really fancy enough. And then I had some pork sausages. Oh, check some of the air fryer for the weekend. Put it out of the air fryer, a bit of scramble the egg, and help yourself. Because they all get up at different times, the kids. It's gone in the days where they're like breakfast at dot dot dot. Nobody gets it. And then I had this, oh my gosh, what's that? Uh, oh, um, big pieces. I have big pieces because I like to make um, in the instant pot. I put some beef pieces, cook them up, and then I'll add carrots, potatoes, onions, and make a gravy. I'll leave it in the instant pot or more, or the slow cooker, or more, and then throughout the day, like I like to do this on the weekend, because throughout the day, wherever I am, help yourself to food, and I know they have hearty food, and I do the onions big enough, obviously, for them to fish it all out. So, beef pieces, I want to do overnight oats. I used to do it religiously. I don't know why or what. 
stop me slipping. But anyway, back to the almond milk. A bit of oats in the jar, a bit of almond milk, a bit of um, yogurt, one or two squirts of that, in a, and then I have um, frozen berries. Give all of that a mix. And I got a bit of, actually, a bit of granola that I add on the day because I like that little bit of crunch. But breakfast is done. I don't eat breakfast at all. But about 10, maybe 11 o'clock is when I start getting a package. So then when I don't, I'm going to have one of those ones. So that's all the meat, that's all that. So this, I wanted to try the avocado spray, but that was $13.99 for two. And this was $8.99 or $7.99 for two. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. We love having these in this house. I cut them in half, put them in the instant pot on four minutes of meat. Everything's over meat with me. Meat, four minutes, they got perfect. Perfect. If you put them in whole and put them in five minutes, they blow up. Ask me how I know. Okay, potatoes. That's them. Cheddar and sour cream, ruffles, some of those are, oh my god, these are so delicious. Ketchup, Cheetos, crunchy Cheetos, ketchup flavour, they are nice, I like them, pick those up. Of course, it's summer, paper plates, so pick those up, they're the over ones, which is fine. And then I try these. Now, I think these are pricey to be honest. There's 12 in a bag of pork snack bites, Korean barbecue flavour. There's 12 in a bag and these are 90 99 But the good thing is, I only have one child that would eat these, so he's not against them, I like the others. So they should, excuse me, they should last a little bit. I eat those bagels. Everything bagel, cheese and jalapeno, everybody likes that. Well, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. I disguise these, I just say they cheese. No one has questioned me to this day. So, these I seen and I thought, oh, teriyaki. Then I seen pineapple teriyaki. So I just imagine they sweet chicken sausages. Never bought them before. But I'm gonna give them a look. They sounded appetizing. Pepperoni, she's a bit of an animal. You know, you know. Anyway, pepperoni, double pack. I really do not want to say that now. And then I go in a pop Lean ground beef. Cut this in half. I bag one half, bag the other half, put it in the freezer. So half is what we need for my family. So like those. Um, I don't even know why I bought be honest it's like a I don't even know if it's like a spam or not but like you can see I think it's fried um I don't know I might try it in some sandwiches and see what the feedback is uh, on sale so I bought them spread rolls on sale bought them they just um anyway spring rolls crisp, crispy vegetable spring rolls these are meat dying for like I do everywhere I go I'm like do you have the mini mozzarella balls they're like no these are individually wrapped as three little mozzarella balls and I've been enjoying them so I've seen these I, I mean I am been enjoying them from buying them because I, I am being able to buy them but I enjoy them when I've been them other places so the mini mozzarella bites and then, like I say, that's a pack, and in that pack, there's three little balls in. So, happy I got those. Oh my god, they are. These, I've seen in Costco, you know me by now, right? It's not on sale, she ain't buying it. I've been dying for one of these because I wanted to know if they taste like the macaroons back home, and they absolutely do, for a start, because um, guess what I opened in the video? Um, they are delicious. These again are individually packed. They're like coconut macaroons with chocolate on the bottom and a drizzle on the top. They were delicious. I did like them. 
expect, you know, one at a time. And then I got this. This is new to our house, course, because I, I definitely want to see these before because I really picked them up because um, my youngest, he likes seaweed. These are seaweed roll snacks. Grilled seaweed roll, I don't know, 54 in a box. It feels like his toy now. So maybe he likes this. And then, that's it, no. And then these. Now, I feel like I'm of age where I should start. I, I don't take tablet. I got a headache, I'll open the window. Fresh aid, that's what does my, relieves my headache. I don't take medication, I don't take, oh, I don't know. If I take an extra strength Tylenol or something on the lines, Advil or something like that, it makes me spin out. Like they're too strong for me. Um, when my mother comes out, she'll bring a box of paracetamol or as many as she can bring me. Um, and if I could be bad, bad for one of those. But I'll only take a pa one paracetamol and that's all it is. And I'm buying meds for my kids. None of us take medication. We, I just don't do that, right? But each day I'll it's just what I do. So I'm apprehensive of taking vitamins. But, to be honest with you, these are daily multivitamins to maintain good health. What my journey at the moment is, is I want my 20 year ahead of me self to look back at me now and say, oh my gosh, Karen, thank you so much for taking multivitamins because you know what? I don't suffer from arthritis, or I don't suffer from joint pain, or I don't know, whatever. But, uh, and then I have two because if I'm on a journey, so long. He sits down a lot because he eats fries, so he doesn't get exercising. I mean, oh my God, we don't stop on the weekend, so he he's like active and stuff. But I mean, I think it's a journey that we now have to start taking. Some vitamins. So, um, they had them in there today, like hair, skin, and nails. My nails, they grow. My hair, it grows. Like, I don't have to worry about these two growing. Skin, I've been using oil whenever I get out of the shower now, Palmer's oil. Oh my gosh, that's definitely 100% made a difference in my skin. And um, that's something I'll continue buying because. It, honest to God, made my skin so soft. I love doing that. But, you know I got a skin condition on my face. So, I don't feel like me taking hair, skin and nails, vitamins, I don't know. I think the multivitamins is what's in hair, skin and nails anyway. That will, But there's a lot more vitamins in here. I did read about vertigo with a lack of vitamin D. I, I'm not a bloody doctor or pharmacist or anything, so I don't know who she were, but I did look. It's vitamin D in you. So maybe maybe I just need multivitamins to help me on my journey. And again, if I'm taking them, I'm just taking them. So we can be fit and healthy in 20 years' time and carry on doing the fun things we do. So anyway. Um, what else? That's it. What else? Like, oh yeah, I told you about the suit. Found a suit. Sent it to him. I knew, I knew exactly what he was in. My son. I sent him that picture of the suit because I thought it was absolutely lovely. I really loved it. For him. Because I, I kind of know his taste and stuff. His style. But anyway. He was like... Um, I think I would rather something plain. Just, just, he's such a plain dude. And I get it, but I really love that suit. Like, I really love it. I, I actually texted him and said, I'll beg you to love that suit because it's so nice. And I think he would look so handsome in it. I mean, he's got a handsome in anything, isn't he? Boy? But he's got to look really good. So fingers crossed I can convince him to have that suit, but at the end of the day, you know what? As much as I'd love him to have that suit, he's got a weird in on me. But anyway, so that's all I did today. Um again, earlier on, like I said to you, I don't know what the plans are this weekend because I kinda don't want to do anything, but I kinda do. So 
I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to do. I don't want to shop. I don't want to cut the goddamn sheet down. As, and I love how I did do that. Right? I gotta be honest. But I just don't want to do that. It smells like. See, it's thirsty now. I'm gonna have a refresher. Wanna watch me make a refresher? We haven't done it first. Let me have one of these. Oh, so these take two a day. Maybe I'll take one in the morning, one in the night. Mm, that tastes actually pretty good. So, I am thirsty. Should we make a refresher together? That's what I think it's delicious. Seen a nice machine today. $100. Honestly, I must didn't care. Oh, to be honest, I know. I don't, I, the ice cubes are probably going to be this big, like so little. Is it worth it? I don't know. So, this is what I used. Here's my glass. And then I have, what needs to be filled. So this is the lemonade, the compliments lemonade. So this is the thing you have to be careful for. Um, gin. Back home, if you ask for lemonade, you'd get a Sprite. Here, you ask for lemonade, this way you get juice. So be careful. Oh, let me press the action. So I put lemonade in there. And then I have this one. Did I even show you this before? Anyway, cran raspberry ocean spray. Top that up. Voila. Refresh. Give it a stir. Easy over ice. <laughs> and I'm thirsty. And, um, ooh, it's a creep, honest God. Why did you? Um, apparently trying to scare me around the corner. Anyway, put all this away. Harry's come at the right time, so you can put Harry can put all this food away. <laughs> I hate putting food away. Okay, all right. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm I'm gonna go and I got jeans on. And... Oh my gosh, that's what I'm gonna do. Show you my new shoes. Wait a sec. They're so precious. I love them. Look, how can Joy bees. Like, look how comfortable they look. Oh, they are gonna be darling on the garden. They only had children's there, so good job I don't have little feet that I can fit into them. Oh my God, can you see them? I am even close up now. Let me get you close up because I think these are so cute. I don't even know what size these are. They're a junior four, whatever that means. They're not like a UK four or anything. Oh. Cute Z. <laughs> I love them. Anybody ever get the urge for an itch to switch? Well, we are, we are kind of restricted in my living room because, so here's the front door, here's the entrance to the kitchen, and then we have dining room doors, obviously going into the dining room, and then back patio doors. And then this is open space going down to the basement. So we're very restricted in how I can change my living space around. So I just, I just want to, oh, itch to switch it. So I feel the TV, we need a new TV because this one is too big for the space here. So my plan is, but then I don't like my sofa in front of this. Oh, excuse the sofa plates, they have to be moved. But this is how it is now I pull my cushions in from my back deck so that they don't get wet because they'll take ages to dry 
And excuse all of the, the blankets, you know, the score with Bailey. So anyway, here is the layout as it is now with a couch, tables, TV unit. So my plan is to move that over to there. So the sun won't bother it either when the when we have summer days. Sometimes the glee, like you can see the glee on this, on this TV now. So putting it there, I think I'm going to do. But then I have to have the back of my sofa facing these doors. I'm hoping I can bring it in, will fit. So the back will be here. But hopefully it'll be enough space to do this, um, like this walkway from the dining room out because we often come from the kitchen out there. So uh, let's itch to switch it around. Luckily, I didn't drop the TV. <laughs> oh, I didn't fall. Oh my gosh, Andy would have gone up the wall. But all good. I managed to do it on my own with no worries. It was the sectional getting round and round from one side to the other side, pushing and shoving. So I just took a quick little pit stop. Well, I'm ready this time. You like them? You think you're pretty? So this nail snapped. And do you think it would grow back? It wasn't growing back. So that's a falsy. And I rest of mine. Okay, back. <laughs> So for now, don't focus on those cushions. Don't focus on these blankets. These need to come off to be washed again. But again, until we have summer, summer, there's mud on this cream. Yeah, I'd rather wash those than the sofa every two minutes. I need to pick that lead up under there. But I think it looks awful. <laughs> Cozy because this pulls out, so we can just shimmy that up, pull that out when we want a cozy time. But the coziness is normally winter, not summer, because we hardly ever in here in the summer. And I wanted to use this as access because this is all the way. I have a rug that goes normally down here, 
but when it's summertime, I pick it up because it's cream. And with the dogs back and forth and wet feet back and forth, oh, I'm not even going there. Oh my god, she's driving. <laughs> um, you know when you went So you know when you went you go shopping. Because you have to go empty the fridge and clean it out So So I entered the fridge, cleaned it out, come across these. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna put it in the bin? Or am I gonna make banana muffins? Try to make some banana. Oh, one bite doesn't like nuts. See, this is the thing that sells. Somebody likes this and nobody likes this and somebody likes this. So, I'll go, because I have loads of bananas. I'm putting all of them in. It calls for one cup of bananas. Excuse me, I'm stopping. I'm putting all of them in there because they'll go in the bin. It's like eggs. Eggs and bananas are the worst. If I don't have bananas, they ask for bananas. And when I buy bananas, they don't have bananas. And if I eat them, they go on in a second. Like, oh, 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 same with eggs. Anyway, I'm gonna make banana muffins. Let me go get my muffin cases, get the oven on, and quickly whip these up because I'm an expert. Oven on, 375. Okay, we have muffins. My, what am I looking for in here? Do you know what? Like as if I need two drawers of crap. Two drawers of crap is not needed. Um, my muffin scoop a loomba. My handy mix. I, I just like to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that for the day. But you know what? Doing everything way down, do you? Anyway, this is for my dry ingredients. This is for my wet ingredients. And one more. This is my dream. So we'll start with the dry, work with the wet, combine the bulbs here and go. Okay, so we need one and a half cups of flour. Do you know what? You were so careful with flour because I had a big, huge one. And if you don't, if you're not careful, like to see, yes, no, no. <clears throat> if you're not careful with flour and you keep it in a bag, maggots will come. Yeah, me how I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. There, that's one cup. Oh, is this naughty? That thing. <laughs> Ding. Ding. That's how much flour you need. Okay, I need a teaspoon of oh, bacon soda. I mean, it's four o'clock, calm down. 
to duck the back. It's, lovely, it's lovely up for you. Pop my little shorts on. I thought, go out the back and sit down and chillax. Yeah, I had to clean my fridge, and then I come across these bloody bananas. I thought, anyways, here we are, making them. Now I need, oh, blow it up. You don't even pay it, because I'm obviously not. Look, this is annoying. Right. these but to be honest with you I think they're soft enough to just stick them in the blender Here are my little baked goods. Yeah, this is. Oh, uh, I suppose let's just enjoy my little beverage. They do have vodka one of these now. I've never tried it. These are the gin. Dylan's. Dylan's gin. This is the original. They have little, um, that's French. Tangerine, lemon, and a hint of mint. Tongue twister. Hint of mint. Um, they do the vodka one. I haven't tried that yet, but yet um almost to the end i'm gonna grab another one out of the fridge because it's friday and pizza friday is for this purpose so it's evening time look at that what's the time oh my gosh it's 9 p.m don't you just love lighter nights this is how Bailey likes to run out of energy. Um, Lily. And she done it earlier. And oh my God. So the lead she's on. Hold. I know it's pseudocreme on my foot because. Oh, God, that hit. Come on, Louis. Come on. Louis's turn. Come on, Louis. Come on, Bolt. 
<clears throat> and Louis will stop for about 50,000 peas. Like I've never known a dog to pee as much as our Louis. Oh my God, those pallets are coming down tomorrow. For sure, as sure can be. And hopefully we get a pool up this man. But we just gotta wait. It's a waiting game. Come on, Louis. Look at him. He's 13 this October. And Miss Bailey here, she's going to be when? June the 1st. June the 1st is little Prinny's birthday. Look how good you are. Go and show Bailey how good boy you are. She's not a good girl. Look at her. She's having a row. Oh, it's all right. I'm in my dressing now. And this is just the path we created so that we could just do some laps around you. It's lovely in the morning. In the night time, I'm just like on my own, like Andrew's with me now. I get a little bit nervous in case there's like other animals. Because Bailey would be petrified. Depending on what animal it is, Louis would just be like, come on, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> but it's so nice to just be out, walk across like this path and walk around. I love it. I do love it. So we're going to take the dogs for a quick walk around here. But so Andrew's like, oh, that's a fire. Da, da, da. No way. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he reminded me that the Clarkson's farm is on Prime. They see <laughs> Reese is out today and I find it so funny. Caleb on there is like the star of the show. It's so funny. So that's all I want to do is go in and watch Clarkson's farms. Okay, so can you hear the frogs? Can you hear that? When we were down, my, we used to sleep down my hands on the weekend. We would get up go make up a cup of tea and get a biscuit barrel and we would sit and well we dunk our biscuits in our tea and we would be there until at least 12 o'clock lunchtime and oh those memories are really fun because my nan would just let us do what we wanted to she'd have baked all night for us to eat in the morning And she used to buy us fun size bounties and Kit Kats. So we used to have those on a Saturday with a biscuit barrel, about 20 cups of tea, bring the quilt down like this. And we would just watch all those great um, Saturday morning channels going live all along. Anyway, um, it's Saturday. Good morning. Morning. Good news last night, my son is not moving out until next weekend. <laughs> so I get to hold on to him for another week. I've had a taste of it without him now. So maybe we can, um, maybe he, he'll allow me to go down to his new home today and give it a good old scrub, you know, like, take some stuff over. Only a little bit, mind. <laughs> Um, and then just go down there and wash the wall. You know, it's like somebody had a blood there. Oh. Um, but just wash the walls, wash the skirting boards, take a little bit of something from his room and um, gently like move him in. But at least I know then he's clean. So, so be let me go and do the cleaning. <laughs> So, you know what I said, we're not doing anything today. Um, I knew we couldn't go a day without doing anything. Oh, so I just got paint. 
Um, <coughs> I'll show you later, but I've painted my bedroom recently and I did a white and this beautiful color blue. If I had a summer house by the beach, this is exactly the color I would like. I am going to summer house by the beach. So I'm looking for a bedroom that I can go into and it's just tranquil, relaxation, neutral. I don't know why I introduced color to my home. I don't like color. I always like just neutrals. I want a nice, calm, new stupid o'clock, about six o'clock a day night. Um we've done oh nothing all day. And then I'm just like, yeah, now you decide that you want to start painting. Yeah. So anyway, um because I'm a cheapskate, I'm gonna go to Dollarama and get some paintbrushes because and a paint tray because I'm not paying them prices. So we picked that paint up in a place called Canadian Tire. Got that. I got this extendable thing, roller, for now. And we're gonna hit Dollarama, pick up some brushes, head home, and then I'll show you when we get home. Okay. So I decided to sample this bee out. Into the paint. I decided to sample this paint in here because we have two nice big windows in here. This is the bath. This is like the ensuite bathroom. And this is, remember I said I had to finish this bit? Yeah, well, I'm not finishing. Because, out. <sighs> yeah, I'm not finishing because now I got a new color. So this is the mess we're dealing with. But I'm gonna empty all of this room. I'm gonna put this play in. Let's empty this space, you see what I mean? I hate this color. Like the tiles of the colour. I want to paint those. But first things first, let's start on this and make this bathroom a beautiful, like, ensuite. As best as we... Well, I say beautiful. Let's just make it the best we can with what we have. So... Very bright in you. Um, I'm just taking this these lights down so we can get that finish painted. That's going to take more than two coats because ideally I should have put a primer on there, but mm -hmm, now I'm going to primers because I have no patience. So I'm going to get my photo back up on the wall and see what it looks like and see if it looks a little cutesy.
Okay, I've put everything back together. Just the stuff we had is what's well, gone back. And you know I don't like this brown. So I've painted the edge, same color as the walls. I'm gonna see how it holds up because this is not bathroom paint and it's certainly not tile paint. Don't know the bath because I was standing in there, didn't want to slip. Um, so yeah, the wall is now gone. The green, the, what do you call it? The big blue wall. Um, there for the mirrors to go back up. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot fresher in here if I'm honest. Just needed a refresh. It's not the color I wanted, this color. Um, but I don't know, you can't see the color. But well, you can tell look, this is white and this is like off white. It's not very good on this camera, but um, I'm gonna get the trims painted. Um, I don't think I've got enough paint yet to just get those finished in the skating boards. But so far, so good. I mean, it's brightened it up a little bit more. I do like a bright kitchen, uh, um, bathroom, and not that blue. That's gonna come down and find a new home. But anyway, I finished painting. I, like I said, I'm gonna see how this holds up on the tile. If it peels or picks or anything like that, then obviously I'll have to go and get other tile. But see, I, I, yeah, I don't like the brown at all. Okay, so now that we have finished doing the bathroom, I want to get a curtain rod up here. I have um, boils that I want to put up. I like the openness of this window because it's, a, it's the view out to the backyard and I enjoy it. It's, um, you can see the sunset and then the reflection from the front window to the back window. You can see the sunrise and it's beautiful. So I don't want to take away the view, but with it being all white, it needs to be broken up a little bit in somehow. So I'm hoping that the voils will just drape nicely and we can um, just put a bit of character to the side of the room. Um, as I said, I'm not going to paint my bedroom now because, oh my God, we just painted that bathroom last night to finish it this morning. And I want to get one of the bedrooms downstairs painted because it got a yellow color. So I'm going to use the same color in the bathroom for that bedroom downstairs and it's called Calico. That's what I use in the bathroom. So we got the drill on charge just to put this curtain rod up and then we'll get to put in the voids up and hope, like I say, it just gives a bit of character to the, um, to the bedroom because it's going to be nice now and I need to get a mirror out of our side so that it just puts the bedroom together kind of thing you now. So uh, when that drill charges now we're going to get those up so in the meantime I'm going to take the voils down that are in the living room and they'll be ready to put up over here. Does anybody else do this hack? You put a toilet roll in between these here to give the gaps space. <laughs> Little hack there. So that they then they like folded. These are the foils we take in down. Because um when they open this door, nobody cares. Just rams the door open. But see how they, they pleated because there's got toilet roll in between them. So we'll just keep them like this. And I mean, this was tied in nice, but to go down, put those in my bedroom and we'll see what it looks like.
gross. did and want to put a bit of happy in my life then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time Toodles.